I have been through so much in my life, but sometimes there's always a bit of history in my life. Throughout my time period, I've been through so much in my life. I know some people out there in the wrestling world are just shocked to see how I shave my head all the time on occasionally, but every time I shave my head on occasionally it's because it's, it's not a joke and it's not part of my gimmick because <laughs> people are probably laughing at me because, well, <laughs> he looks like a baldy baldy. But the thing is, half of me is dying because the bad part of me is dying and I wanted to bring in the new part of me because there has been so much I've been through in my life. Well, I have been through so much in my life that ever since the time I was bullied a lot as a kid, I got picked on, I got teased on, and so many people didn't know that at the age of three years old I was diagnosed with autism because it was my life. As time grew on for me, all the problems I had in my life, Things were a lot fine at first, but when I found my love for professional wrestling, it was part of my life since I was a kid. But more importantly, that led to where, well, the passing of Eddie Guerrero in 2005. And then when I was a kid, I had a dream that I was in a tag team match with Chavo Guerrero. And more importantly, we had a match back then when Paul London and Brian Kendrick were a tag team. And that was when me and Paul, or actually uh, me and Chavo, dominated the fight and we won. As Paul London and Brian Kendrick were about to attack us from behind, that was until Eddie Guerrero came down from the heavens and saved us. Right after Eddie saved us, he was looking at me, and then he smiled at me until he floated back up to heaven. It's just, that was an emotional time of my life ever since. But due to the med wash and everything I've been through, so much of therapy over the years, it's been very difficult. But during the time of the med wash, I got bullied and disrespected at a hospital that I've been to, but... His name I will not say, but basically one of the staff disrespected me, put me in a quiet room due to the fact I was struggling, I was scared, and I was angry until my worst fear came to life. There was a spider within that area and scared the heck out of me and they tried threatening to throw it at me and try to scare me. The next thing I knew, if they told me was, if I misbehave, and then they said I'll be sleeping with the spiders. But as I got older, I learned not to be afraid of spiders anymore. Because they're just, they're just small, and I'm big. But the thing was, as I got older, there was another part of my life, things were changing for the better. But... When I got bullied in Vegas all the time, they they one time stole my dog, Consuelo, and I was chasing after them, and I was screaming out to them, give me back my dog, give me back my dog. I tried calling for help from one of the residents, and one of them was just like, nope, I don't want to get involved, until I asked one of the residents to watch over my babies, my dogs, and eventually they did. But throughout time, there was so much I've been through that I had to let out. It was late 2021. And next thing I knew, right in the middle of my birthday month, I was under a sugar rush. So much in my body and my intensity and my energy levels were rising. At the time, though, I thought I was going to lose my friends, but thank God I didn't. But 
that led to where I wanted to head out and get some 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 sweets in my system, including my favorite beverage, pink lemonade. But more importantly, that was when I fell face planted on the desert. And it didn't look good for me at the time. But man, I've been through so much ever since. But when some people were driving past me, they didn't help. It didn't bother at all. They just walked away and drove away. But I didn't do it because I was getting attention. It was karma on, on my back at the time. Until I learned in life that sometimes don't eat too much sugar. Don't grieve over the loss of your friends. Just be happy with your life. And more importantly, just remember who cares about you. And more importantly, who loves you. But when I found my love and passion for wrestling as a kid, I didn't, I tried to get in the, into the business, but it was so freaking hard at the time. But I worked so hard to be where I'm at today. And there are so many great people that have shown me the way of my mental health and more importantly, even showed me the way of my, of my ways and my path to get into professional wrestling. And I wanted to thank so many people for that, for opening my eyes and understand how my life is. I just can't believe it's been nine years now since 412 Films has been in up, been a part of YouTube, but right now though, I'm not gonna be the one doing the talking for now on, but he is. Because Cool 412, from now on, has been part of my life part of my persona for years. But I know that things are going to be amazing for this channel. I want to say from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you all so much for the support over these past nine years, for all the mental health and everything else I've been through. But I know that 412 Films is going to be an amazing year no matter what for 2023 to 2024 and soon things are going to be a whole lot more amazing and I'll tell you that much because I'm never going to give up on you guys no matter what and thank you all so much for the amazing support over these amazing nine years for 412 films And heck, the one time I was involved in a bus accident as a kid, but that story was is that my driver was trying to drive me home. I was relaxing in the back seat with the seatbelt buckled. But next thing I knew, that was where the driver was suffering a fatal heart accident. He was having a heart attack. And that's when I survived the bus accident. I went over to check on the driver. I tried to check on him, see if he's okay. But more importantly, he wasn't breathing. He was breathing at first, trying to fight the heart attack. I tried to go through the emergency door when I opened the bus door. So many people were so kind to me, very supportive after the bus accident I've been through. But throughout the years, I've let that go now. It was time for me to move on. And there's so much things I've moved on in my life. And more importantly, 412 Films is the best thing that I think Cool 412 here really appreciates. For all you fans that have stuck around this channel for over nine years, I want to thank you all so much for that as well.